I'm sorry, Jim. We've got a case of the two minute delay. Get nerdy with me. Talk nerdy to me. My name is Mr. Delay, and you're about to be delayed for two minutes. The book I'm talking about is over my shoulder. It's Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. It is absolutely brilliant. And I know I've been saying that word over and over in these vlog series, and I know you want to pull up Princess Bride and pull me aside and be like, look, I that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. I know exactly what it means, and it's everything. It means all the things. Does that make sense? It doesn't? Uh, whatever. Moving on. So it's brilliantly told. It takes the old myths and the old stories and pulls it and amalgamates it and combines it, shakes it up, swirls it around, in a fantastical way that as a reader, you begin to understand the dynamics of the gods and the demigods and all these things because it's so well written and so well connected within our, in within our timeline today. And it kind of references how things have evolved over the thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years. This book would be well to be studied within a high school or middle school classroom to understand the dynamics of literature. And as that literature has been written over a millennia and over beyond that, that how it means what it means for that and how those stories, those characters, those plots, those heroes' journeys, and all those elements have been retold and told so many different ways and so many different times that it's just become a part of who we are as a literature world, as it were. It is well done, well written, the characters are likable. You struggle a little bit when there's a girl in involved, but she works well within the story, and you want to read more. You get to the end and you're literally chasing this book down. You're like, please tell me more! There's a series, of course. I haven't gotten into the rest of it, but I guarantee you, without too much question, because this is number one on the advice of my myth and lit teacher at the college level, the rest of the series is worth exploring. The movie? Don't do it. We watched one scene from it in our myth and lit class, and we never talk about it again. We, it is like Voldemort. He who shall not be named. The movie is an abomination. It is terrible. Don't do it. Don't see it. Don't even know. Bad llama. Bad llama. So in that... Read the book, check it out, check out the series. It'll uh, expand your understanding. My name is Mr. Delay, and you've been delayed for two minutes. Times. I can't resist that. And what's the core in your wand? I think that ours match, because I know.